the garage, so I'm going to start by pulling the gauge cluster on this thing because he said a couple of the gauges were wigging a little bit, so uh, on my face. So uh, he said a couple of the gauges were wigging out, so we're going to go ahead and see if we can find a ground issue or something stupid first. Uh, and then we'll work our way around and keep troubleshooting. Alright, so I went ahead, I did find a loose ground and I fixed it. So now we have, our gauges aren't wigging anymore. To, not quite enough to go over about 3,000 RPMs with that oil pressure so anything over that and you're gonna eat the motor all right guys we got her all wiped down and wrapped uh, I talked to the owner and he said not to bother um, the tuner put a mechanical gauge on it and it read the same so we're just gonna pull it out and uh, refresh it I guess so that's what we're doing Yanking her out. Alright guys, another day here in the garage and uh, we're going to pull this motor out. Alright, so it's been years since I put this car together and I'm trying to remember exactly how everything went. Um, so I think I'm actually going to have to pull this transmission because I'm not going to be able to get it separated from the, the clutch there. Not enough room in there to pull it up over the cross member. So. I think I'm gonna have to drop the tranny back a little bit, so it's gonna take a minute. transmission broken apart from the motor down there you can probably see the clutch so that was fun it was kind of stuck together pretty good so we gotta sneak it by the oil pan down there and see if we can get it up and over hopefully we'll be able to do it without having to lower the car back down there if we have to yeah. So let's get her on the engine stand, 
then we can start tearing her apart and actually see what happened to her but that'll be on uh, the next video so hope you guys enjoyed this uh, I'm the one man band here I do it all by myself I pull bodies off chassis pull motors pull it all and uh, a lot of people think that maybe it's too hard to do by yourself or not too safe which it's probably not too safe I'm very careful with extra jack stands and uh, the way I place them I've been doing this for years so um, yeah another one out and we'll see what what happened to her and uh, see what the heck's going on inside there while well, we have 25 psi oil pressure and uh, get her fixed get her back in and go do some smoky burnouts I did notice, let's see if you can see this, but there's definitely some metal on there. So we got an issue in here, we're gonna have to figure it out and uh, see what we got. Might even cut open that oil filter and see what it looks like. So, this is the 55 Chevy truck, the other one's a 56. Very pretty, nice and shiny. We got a lot of work to do on this. We're gonna be Frenching the glass. We're gonna be changing up some body lines. We've already done a ton of body mods to this one, but obviously it's got the back done. And the tailgate latch, I built this one out of stainless. That's all done. And then there's that custom chassis I built, which is also on my channel. I'll leave a link at the end of the video for the build. Please excuse the music. It was a horrible editing job, so you guys should check it out. Though. I hope y'all enjoyed that today, and uh, I'll uh, get this motor torn down probably tomorrow or the next day, depending on what the schedule looks like. I know tomorrow I think we might be having the tuner uh, stop by to tune the 55 the black truck with the stack injection so uh, we need to get that thing tuned get it out on the road and do some testing on that before we finish the body mods and uh, and tear it down for paint so here we go again we'll see you on the next one guys hope you liked it uh, subscribe share hit that thumbs up Thanks.